Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. When I did my bag collection video, I said that I was going to come back to my Diane bag. I was going to talk a little bit about why this is one of my absolute favorite bags, why I believe hands down it's the best everyday bag, and why I love it so much. So here is my Diane. This is also going to be a two-year update because I've had this bag for two years in a couple of weeks. So this has the, the treat of the Keta, and this is the way it looks. I'm not really happy with the treated Vaquetta. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no marks on it anywhere. I haven't had any problems, of course, with any kind of cracking because this is sewn, but the buckle still looks fine. It looks fine underneath the flap. I mean, I don't see any problems with it anywhere. The strap is okay. My issue is that the color to me just looks weird. It doesn't look the same as a natural patina, which I prefer. But I do like the fact that if I get caught up in a storm, that this is going to last well. So there's that. But getting to the bag itself, this is such an excellent size bag. There's just enough room to hold your essentials and maybe a little bit more. You don't have to worry about what you carry in here because it's got a decent capacity. And I'm pretty sure that I have done a what fits inside, but I could put a small O case, I could put my card holder, a wallet, I could put another card holder in the back pocket, some tissues back there, and then there's the back phone pocket. So it's just ideal and it feels so comfortable with the shoulder strap that it comes with. So it comes with this Treat of Vaquetta strap, and it's not quite right directly under your arm. There's enough of a drop so that if you want to wear it with a coat, you have room. You don't have to worry about it. And I did sell my guitar strap. However, today we're going to try some options since I don't have my guitar strap. With the Diane bag and with my Never Full BB. And you could say I put the little holiday charm on here. And... I also sold the guitar strap for this bag. So neither one of these have a strap. They're both strapless. So let's play around for a little bit. But before I do, I just want to talk a little bit about how the bag itself is holding up. Because there's no glazing, everything on this bag is sewn. There's no glazing to worry about. I mean, the only place that you have glazing is here around the edge of the buckle under this part, this little tiny bit where the D-rings are attached and on the edges of the strap. And there's no issues in those spots at all. None of them are really prone to wear and tear because you're not really bending those areas so much. This is a magnet, so you're not really unbuckling the button at all. These are sewn on, these are sewn on, and then the piping, you know, I'm careful, so there's no damage to any of my piping on the corners. And the inside still looks just fantastic. And I think every time I use this bag, I love it a little bit more. And I know a couple of people said that they were interested in the leather version. And I say, if you have an opportunity to get it, get it. I am just salivating over that blue. I think that blue is spectacular. So somewhere down the line, it's going to be maybe here, but it's definitely on my wish list. So let me show you some of the chains that Next Fashion sent to me, all of which, when I picked them out, I had in mind specifically to use with certain bags, but particularly these bags where I sold the strap and I don't have any other options. So... The first strap that I want to show you is the 11 millimeter chain right here. This is called the Rollo 11 meter. It's 48 inches long and this is in gold. And let me bring it a little bit closer so that you could see what the chains look like. It's got nice, nice bling, but not overboard. And I chose this with the bigger hooks on the end. So you have a choice between large or small, and I chose the larger ones because the hooks on the Diane 
are a little bit bigger. So it's the same size hook, just about, that comes with the strap that's on the bag. You can see that. So let me show you what this looks like on, and I'll show you where it comes crossbody on me. And I think that I picked the right length because I definitely can wear it with a jacket or a coat or something underneath, and it's not gonna be tight at all. So here is what it looks like. Let me bring the camera down. Okay, here's where it comes with me on with the 48 inch chain and it's sitting right below my hip. So plenty, plenty comfortable. And I think that this dresses the bag up quite a bit. So let's get into the next chain. I have another crossbody chain and I didn't think that a chain strap was gonna be, you know, the best way to go. However, it really looks good. So here we go, I'm gonna attach it to the Never Full BB. So here it is with the Never Full BB. And I really like the way that this, sit, this sits much better than with the guitar strap because the way the guitar strap held this bag, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of made it sit so that the straps were kind of bending and I didn't want to wear it where the straps were bent. I like it like this so that they stay, you know, upright. They don't get any kind of weird kinks. What do you know about weird kinks? Oh, Winnie. So, so here's where it comes and I think that it's just, just perfect. It dresses this bag up too. So let's see what the next chain, which is called the lovely, I think it's eight millimeter, eight millimeter chain. And by the way, guys, this chain is really light. You don't have any issues with this weighing the bag down, but it's a nice substantial, it's substantial. I mean, it's not a million tons, but it's definitely a substantial chain. This is the lovely chain, and you can see it kind of looks like uh, a, a Shendunk design by someone else. So, actually, this is a little bit smaller than 48 inches. This is more of a shoulder length, but it works. Look, you could wear this as a shorter shoulder bag with the Neverfull MM, and I think it works really well. What do you think? I think it's okay because the handles aren't gonna get in the way. Definitely enough room, of course, for a coat or for whatever. And yeah, I think that this works really, really well. So I don't know why I thought that this was crossbody, but it is not a crossbody. All right, so let's see what this looks like on the Diane, and then I'm gonna show my favorite chain. And then I also have a couple of charms. So we're really gonna dress this up a little bit more. I'm gonna use it on the little BB. Cause you know, she could use a little bit of bling. So here we are. And this length is 35 inches, if I'm not mistaken. So it's enough of a difference where it's not gonna be a great crossbody length, but it's definitely a good shoulder length. And you know, I've said many, many times that I don't like to wear, you know, a third boob. So this is the way it looks with the Diane and I have the strap just hanging, sort of like an ornament. I like it. All right. So now let me show you my last chain. And I really think that this one is beautiful because I think that this is incredibly versatile. And this is the candy box chain in the 24 inch length. So this is a box chain. It's very, very similar to the coach chain that everyone loves. They're rectangular lengths. And this is gonna be shorter 
this is going to be more of a true shoulder bag style. So it's a little bit longer than the strap that comes with the Diane. So you could take this strap off, of course, with any of the chain styles. And this is the way it looks. Or you could even just leave it kind of dangle as a charm and use the leather strap. And any of these I could use with the Ivy Walk as well. So it's really, it's really a win, I think. So here's what it looks like there. I wouldn't use this on the Neverfull because I think that the Neverfull is a little bit too small. And then we're going to have the straps coming up a little bit higher and not really nuts about that look. I have these D-rings that I bought from Amazon and I have several colors and I'm going to use the D-rings right now on the Neverfull BB. And we're going to have a little bit of fun playing with these bag charms. So this is the double chain charm, and I love this because it's mixed metal. So it's a silver and a gold, and they're two different chain styles. So really you could use any D-rings with this, but I have the gold on. And here's what it looks like. Too much bling? Nah, never can have too much bling. That's what I think. So it's really, really cute on this. And I have a second charm, chain charm. These look great on a Speedy. They look great on Neverfull. Anything where you have handles or D-rings that are sort of close to each other. And when I take out other bags, I'll show what these look like on some of my other bags as well. Because I like to change up my charms for sure. I'm more of a, ba a bag charm changer than... A strap changer but I do like to change straps if I need to have a crossbody or if I want a different look. So this is the lovely chain and the curb chain combined in this double chain and you can see this is a really beautiful gunmetal and then gold. I really, really like this color combination a lot. And the seven inches here gives you like just enough drop. And it's just adorable looking. But for fun, I have the Tivoli behind me. Let's see what it looks like on the Tivoli because this is a bigger bag and the handles are a little bit further apart. Plus, you have the buckles so you can easily attach a charm to the buckle. Okay. So here it is on the Tivoli. And even with the pleat, I think it looks good. So this bag kind of doesn't need a lot of dressing up, but you can see when you have the handles a little bit further apart and on a bigger bag, that's what it looks like. So I do think it's really pretty. Let me bring that in close so you can see. So there you have it, guys. That's my bags. That's the chains. I'm going to link everything in the description box. So if you're interested in any of these chains, just hit the link. And I do have a coupon code, which will be in the description box as well. And like I said, I have a couple more that I didn't show in this video, but I will be showing in the future with some of my other bags. So stick around. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I have some really cool videos coming up and you're probably going to want to see them. You'll be really disappointed if you miss them. And for all of you guys who are returning, you know I love you. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you always for your support. And I will see you in my next video. I have a good one coming up for Saturday. That's all I'm going to say. See you then. Bye.